figured I'd try my hand at these day in the life videos with a baker. So start with some breakfast. I have been eating a toasted cinnamon raisin bagel with cinnamon sugar and fruit for like three weeks now. I don't know. I really love it. I have a stair stepper I've been neglecting. I'm trying to do at least like 100 steps uh, when I work from home just to like get myself moving. Now it's time to tame my hair and let's get started with the day. I have a whiteboard in my kitchen where I plan out my week kind of every Saturday, Sunday. As you can see, I had one order due Sunday, one order due Wednesday, two orders due Friday, and then an order due Saturday, and then an order due the following Sunday. And so I like to kind of write out what I need, and then I'm going to do some math here to figure out how much of each batch I need, so that way I can do everything at once and not waste my time. My kitchen was a bit of a mess from my last order, so I went ahead and did a 45 minute clean just to reset my space. I'm also bringing my eggs and my butter to room temperature while I'm cleaning, just so that I'm not wasting time. Here's my mise en place, which is just me prepping all my ingredients that I need for the day. I'm doing two double batches of my vanilla cupcakes and one double batch of my chocolate cupcakes. And here's a baker secret for you. I actually don't use uh, whole milk, I use powdered milk. It means I don't have to waste a lot. So when I was baking less frequently, I was buying a lot of milk and wasting a lot of it. So now I just make what I need. Um, I go ahead and I like to preset my cupcake liners before I make my batter, just so that way I am ready to go. And we're gonna go ahead and make my vanilla cupcakes. I don't really have video of the cupcakes because I face a wall, but here is a part of the batter, so silky smooth. And then here we go, me filling my liners. I use a taller liner, it's about an inch and a half tall, which is taller than the standard grocery liners of 1.25 inches. And then I use a scoop of a half an ounce and a half, so that way the cupcakes are nice and tall when they come out of the oven. I repeated this process three times because I had three double batches to make, I just didn't film it, but look at this glorious oven shot. Each double batch makes four dozen, which means that I have 12 dozen cupcakes, and this afternoon I will start to decorate. 